set. So um, again, welcome everyone. As I, as I said earlier, my name is Ted Blank and I am with Travel Leaders. I work in our office in Woodbury and we're very excited to have you here with us tonight as we go on a uh, virtual trip to America's West and some of our national parks. And um, our host tonight is gonna be Dan Peeler with Insight Vacations. And he's gonna be sharing a specific itinerary this September that I will be hosting as well. So you are welcome to um, register for this trip and come along and join us and Dan will give us some more details on that. So Dan, why don't you take it away? And if folks have questions, just please type them in the question box and either we'll answer them during the presentation or afterwards as appropriate. So take it away, Dan. All right, well, thank you. Thank you, Ted. Good evening, everybody. Hope you're all doing well. Hope you're staying safe and uh, enjoying this nice day we're actually having. It's been a little chilly the last couple couple nights, so it's nice to have a good day. And uh, hopefully after this, you'll be able to get outside for a bit, but I appreciate everyone being on the call today to talk about one of my, my favorite destinations that you can travel to, which is to our national parks here in our own backyard in the United States. Now, uh, when Ted asked me to, to do this and, and to put this group together, I was really excited because I truly am passionate about our national parks. It's, it really is a great place to travel to. It's There's so many different wonderful things with our national parks. Every national park is a little bit different from each one too. So that's what makes it really unique, but truly is a wonderful destination to travel to. And this group that's going out here in the fall, in September, that Ted is going to lead, I think is just an absolutely wonderful itinerary. Ted and I were talking a little bit before this that uh, this itinerary has all the national parks that you want to see within a 10-day span. I, I think it's absolutely incredible. This is actually one of our top selling itineraries that we have at Insight Vacation. So it's a really, really great itinerary. And we'd love to have you come along. So uh, as Ted said, we will take out a little bit of a virtual journey today. Uh, well, this won't be too long. We'll keep it relatively short and sweet, about 30, 35 minutes. And then we'll have plenty of time for questions at the end. But hopefully you can sit back, relax. Uh, as Ted said, have a glass of wine. Uh, water, whatever your beverage is, and just uh, hopefully you'll enjoy the presentation. Now, uh, as Ted mentioned, my name is Dan Peeler. I'm the uh, strategic account manager, but really what that means is that I work with Ted and everyone at Travel Leaders uh, on trips like this. So I work, I've been with Insight Vacations for uh, multiple years now, and I call Madison, Wisconsin home, uh, where again, like I said, it's about 57 degrees tonight, and it was snowing yesterday. So that's that's our Midwest weather right there for you. But uh, looking forward to a, a great summer, a great summer of traveling once again and a great fall of traveling once again as well. So what we'll do tonight, again, keep it relatively short and sweet, about 30 minutes and really cover three things. Number one, talk a little bit about what you can expect on your Insight Vacations Tour. Now, maybe some of you have been on Insight Vacations Tour in the past. Uh, maybe some of you have never heard of Insight Vacations. That's okay. We're going to cover really, really briefly what Insight Vacations is and really what you can expect on your Insight Vacations tour when you go to our national parks on this group. Then we'll talk a little bit about why national parks. I'm sure some of you have been to many of our national parks before. You all have your own reasons, and there's so many great reasons to travel to our national parks. Uh, again, one of my favorite destinations, but we'll cover a little bit of some of that in detail. And then lastly, we're going to go through a little bit of a virtual tour uh, on this wonderful uh, group that's going out here in September, Wonders of the American West. That's the title of it. Now, uh, we're not going to uh, not going to go into all the details of the day to days because we'd probably be here for about three hours. And it's way too nice out for that. It's Thursday night, uh, but we are going to cover it nice and briefly. Just some of those big highlights that you can see on the day to day itinerary. So let's see if I can switch my slide here. There we go. So what I want to start with was talking a little bit about my last vacation. I might be wondering, Dan, why are you talking about your last vacation? And ironically enough, uh, my last vacation was to the national parks, or at least many of the national parks. Now, uh, the last eight years, my wife and I, that's, that's Molly, my wife, Molly, and she's a second grade teacher. We were able to travel internationally the last eight years. We were very lucky to do that, very blessed to do that. But 2020 was a different story, right? It was a different story for all of us. And we weren't able to travel at all. This is our first time not being able to travel. Now, uh, my wife and I were thinking, you know what? Hey, we've been in the house for so long. What's a safe way we can do a little bit of a traveling? And we decided, you know what? Let's go on a road trip and see some of the national parks in our beautiful country. So we decided to do that. And at first, when uh, my wife, when Molly brought this up to me, I was like, 
you know, that, that sounds great, but I'd just rather travel to Europe. I'd rather go somewhere nice and warm, something like that. And again, couldn't do that. So uh, we decided to do this anyway. So I wasn't exactly excited about it because I've only seen one other national park in my life, and that was the Grand Canyon. But what we did is we went to a lot of wonderful national parks, like Rocky Mountain National Park in Colorado. Uh, we went to Moab. We went to Bryce Canyon. We went to the Black Hills of South Dakota, Custer State Park, some of those wonderful areas out there. And I was absolutely amazed about with the experience that I have. I had so much fun, not just because of the national beauty, but the experiences I had were just amazing. Every national park, the thing that stood out to me that every national park is very different than each other. I think a lot of times we have this idea that, hey, you're going to go to the national park, and you're just going to see a lot of mountains, a lot of rocks, things like that. Uh, we did see that, but every, every place had a little bit different to offer, and it was really, really special to us. We had an amazing time. What struck me as someone who's traveled internationally the last eight years is that I couldn't believe we had so much beauty in our own backyard. Absolutely incredible. It really is an amazing destination. I can see why so many people love traveling to our national parks from other countries. Absolutely incredible. And again, when Ted told me that he was interested in doing this trip, I was excited because the national parks are something that I recommend all the time uh, to people that I work with as an itinerary because it truly is a wonderful way to travel. So that's a little bit about my story to the national parks. Again, absolutely amazing. And I can't wait to talk a little bit more about this particular one today. So with that being said, let's go into a little bit about really who Insight Vacations is. Now at Insight Vacations, like we refer to ourselves as an upper premium travel company. Now what that means really is that uh, a lot of times when you think about Insight Vacations, Upper premium is a little bit of a step up from your typical guided tour. And that's what we are. We're upper premium guided tour company, a company really specialized in giving our guests an authentic, immersive travel experience. And we do that through five different ways. Number one is through the actual experiences that we have. So when you're on Insight Vacations Tour, you're going to have some incredible experiences that are included, again, because it is a guided tour. But one example of that is, uh, let's just say we're going to go to Italy. Let's say we're going to go to Italy. We're going to Rome, the Vatican City. One of the things that we do is we get you VIP access to go up the Bramante staircase. So you can actually walk where the Pope walked. Absolutely incredible experience. Amazing. But those are the types of experiences we have, no matter where we go, including on our national parks trips. Number two, delicious, authentic dining. Uh, this is one of my personal favorites. I love food. I'm sure you love food as well. Food is a huge part of who we are at Insight Vacations. Every single day and every single one of our itineraries, we're going to have a really great culinary experience for you. We feel there's no better way to immerse yourself in the destination than trying the local delicacies, trying the local cuisine. And that's what we want to provide at Inside Vacations, those really great dining experiences. Number three, travel in state and style. Really what this is, is this is a way we get around destination to destination and also the places we stay. So being an upper premium guided tour company, the way we get around primarily is through our luxury motor coach. So with this, that means business class seating, very, very comfortable we're not going to cram you into a small bus when we go to these national parks. You're going to be very comfortable traveling in luxury. That's really what we want to do, and that's what you'll get. Now, on the flip side of that, the places that we'll stay, we're always going to stay at four, four and a half, five star hotels. We want to stay at the nicest places possible, and they're always going to be centrally located as well. One of the great things about this tour is when we're in the national parks, we're going to stay at the very nicest national park lodges. That goes a long way, especially on your national park experience, because you can walk right out your door and you're right in the national park. That's a big benefit to Insight. Number four, small groups. That's what we offer at Insight. We're gonna have small groups, and this is great because you're gonna be traveling with like-minded people. You're not gonna be in a group of 50 or 60 people or anything like that. These are small, intimate groups, really providing a great experience. And lastly, seamless and stress-free travel. That all ties into the travel director. When you go on these groups, uh, you're going to have a travel director with you from Insight Vacations. They're absolutely incredible. This provides a lot of peace of mind, especially post-pandemic or while we're traveling, when we're in the pandemic, we want to make sure that we are traveling, but we're not going to travel unless we know we're safe. This is a great reason to go guided because we will have a travel director there at all times, making sure you are safe and all your needs are met. Now, Ted's also going to be on the tour, but we don't want him to have to worry about that kind of stuff. That's Insight Vacations uh, a job, so we don't want him to do that, but it is nice to have that peace of mind that you do have someone there for you that is watching over you. So those are the five things that really make Insight unique and what you can expect on your Insight Vacations tour. 
Now, I'm not going to go too in depth on well being protocols, safety protocols, things like that, because to be honest with you, right now, it might look a lot different in September than it does in May. But I will say right now, the biggest question I get is Dan, you know, we're excited to go, but what does that look like? Do I need to be vaccinated? Do I need to test? What do I need to do with that? And right now, as of April, uh, our policy is that you can travel, but one, you need to show proof of vaccination or you need to have a negative PCR test within 72 hours of departure. Now, that is what it is today. Those are the requirements today. That could change come September as hopefully the pandemic subsides just a little bit, cases go down and things get better and better. So we'll keep you updated on that. Ted will make sure to keep you updated on that, but that's the policy as of today. All right, so let's get into a little bit. So I always like to start these with some fun facts uh, about the destination. A couple of fun facts about the national parks that I thought kind of stood out to me, including the ones that we're going to here is, number one, Zion Canyon was actually home to an ancient civilization, believe it or not, the Anzazi people. And they were the original occupants of Zion Canyon. Now on this tour, you will be going to Zion Canyon. But what's really interesting is when you go here, you're going to see all the traces of the civilization in those sandstone villages, some of the rock art, the network of roads. It's absolutely amazing. That was 1500 BC. It just blows your mind how far back that was. Another fun one, the Grand Canyon itself can influence the weather, believe it or not. I think we need that here in the Midwest sometimes. But Grand Canyon has an elevation span over 2,000 feet, 2,000 feet to over 8,000 feet. And this can really impact the weather. Basically, the temperature generally increases about five degrees, maybe five and a half degrees with every 1,000 feet loss in elevation. Very interesting there. And then I think this is probably my favorite one, Yellowstone National Park. Of course, you think of the national parks, you probably think of the Grand Canyon or Yellowstone National Park. Yellowstone National Park is bigger than two states. It is bigger than Rhode Island and Delaware combined. Absolutely incredible. I think that is just an amazing stat. Probably a few more there too, right? <laughs> probably, pro pro probably, probably, yep, absolutely. Why travel to the national parks? So I think we all have our own reasons for this. I'm sure many of you have been to some of the national parks before, but again, I think the biggest thing that stood out to me in my experiences was that every park is different. It's not just your moments. It's just not just your sandstone cliffs. Every park is unique. It has unique rock formation. It has unique wildlife and unique beauty. It's absolutely incredible. I think it's amazing. Uh, one of the, one of my favorite experiences ever was when I was at Rocky Mountain National Park, and we're in Est we're in the town of Estes Park, and we're going up those windy roads, and um, all of a sudden we have eight elk that are about just an arms arms length distance away from us. We could literally go out our car and just pet them. They're so domesticated. So we would see that at Rocky Mountain National Park, and then we'd see completely different animals at Zion and some of these other places. It's just absolutely incredible. The, the, the parks are so special. There's so much great wildlife. There's so much beauty. Just, just amazing. Another great thing that you won't that you really typically think about is that they're relatively easy to get to as well with easy flights. I mean, these are one-stop flights for the most part. Uh, you're not talking about a whole day. You're not talking about jet lag or anything like that. It's a great, great way to travel and travel in a really easy manner. So those are just a few of the reasons to go on the national parks. All right, here it is. Wonders of the American West. Here is our virtual tour for the night. Here's the group that is going out in September. I love this one. So here's what it is. Basically, this is a 10 day long journey. We're gonna start and end in Las Vegas, which is always a fun place to start and end your journey, but we're gonna start and end there days one and two. And then we're gonna do a little bit of a loop to Arizona, Colorado, and Utah before we make our way back. And on that loop, we're going to stop at all these wonderful national parks. Now, I will say, if you're looking at the map on the screen, those little circles with the number in the middle, those are the amount of nights that we're staying at each place. You can see the one there, you can see the two there. One of the nice things about this tour is that we have multiple nice stays as well. We're not just doing one night in a hotel, another night in a hotel, and another night in a hotel. We have multiple night stays, which makes a big difference. It's nice to be able to relax in one spot for a couple nights uh, on your journey. But we're going to start in the Grand Canyon. We're going to see some great spots like the Glen Canyon Dam, Lake Powell, Monument Valley, which is an amazing experience. We'll talk a little bit more about that. And then we're going to make our way up north through the southern part of Colorado. Where we'll stop at Messi Verde. We're going to see the Arches National Park and the town of Moab. Canyonlands, Capitol Reef, Price Canyon, Zion National Park. The list goes on and on, right, Ted? It's just, it's incredible how many yeah, national parks you see. Nine here. parks in 10 days or something. It's a pretty incredible number. Yeah, yeah you, we'll, be, we'll be busy, but not, uh, not hurried. 
Exactly. I love that. You'll be busy, but not hurried. And that is definitely true. You'll definitely be able to say you've been to the national parks after this tour, but I, I love this one. And again, 10 day journey starting and ending in Las Vegas. And you do a loop of some of the great national parks. And like I mentioned earlier, this is Insight Vacations top selling uh, domestic itinerary. We have a lot of national parks itinerary with Insight Vacations. This is the top seller and for good reason. I think it covers all the, all the national parks you want to see in that smaller time frame, which is truly wonderful. All right, let's get right into it. So day one, again, I'm just going to touch on some of the highlights. We're not going to go on every single little thing we do, but some of the highlights that we get to do here. Day one, it's all about getting into Las Vegas, getting into Las Vegas safely. That's pretty much it for the day. We're not going to do a lot of activity that night, but once we are in Las Vegas, we're going to stay at the very famous Caesars Palace, which is a wonderful hotel to stay at. Uh, and we are going to stay there on the on the last night as well. But we are going to stay at Los at, at Caesar's Palace in Las Vegas. And the only thing we're going to really have this evening is something called a welcome dinner. Now, really, what a welcome dinner is, it, in my experience with multiple inside vacations journeys, this is one of my favorite uh, things that we do. It's one of our best culinary experiences. But the what well, what the welcome dinner is is basically this is your first night where you're going to meet the rest of the group that you're traveling with. So we're all going to have a nice dinner at Caesars Palace. We're gonna meet our travel director for the first time. The travel director is gonna be there enjoying the meal with you. And they're gonna raise a toast uh, to an amazing trip. And uh, I think this is always fun because at first, in my experience with this, at first, everyone's a little bit quiet at first. Some people might not know each other too well, but I always like to say after a, a glass of wine, everyone becomes best friends really quick. Everyone gets really excited to, for the rest of their journey. They talk about some of the things that they're looking forward to. Just a great, great dinner to meet the rest of your group members. Um, one of my favorite experiences. So that'll be the night. You have that night at leisure. You can do whatever you want. If you want to check out Las Vegas a little bit, you can definitely do that. Just make sure you're back on the coach ready to go on day two. Because day two is when we really get into the fun part of our trip. So day two, this is going to be dedicated to Grand Canyon National Park. So we're going to depart that morning for the south rim of the Grand Canyon. Typically, this is about a four-hour drive or so. We'll make a couple stops as well. That's what we do on our uh, when we're on our journey. We will take multiple stops for restroom breaks and things like that. Uh, bear in mind, we do have a restroom on board the coach. Uh, we'll, we'll get into that in a little bit. But we it is a longer drive, so we will stop a few times. But once we get to the Grand Canyon, we're going to have a great insight experience where we can explore the Grand Canyon with one of our local experts on the ground. His name is Canyon Tim. He is a geologist and he is absolutely amazing. He's going to talk to you all about the rock formations, the flora, the fauna of the Grand Canyon. It's an incredible experience. So uh, I actually had the chance to meet Canyon Tim uh, at a conference once, and he's extremely personal, very charismatic, but very passionate uh, about the Grand Canyon. It's one thing to just see the Grand Canyon, go up and see all the amazing sites, which truly is incredible, but it's another thing to talk to a local expert, a local geologist, that is, and get all the insights of the Grand Canyon and how what you're seeing came about. It's it's truly incredible. It's an amazing experience. Uh, that's gonna be a big one that we have that day. Later on that evening, we will have a wine reception and a sunset dinner at the National Park Lodge at the Grand Canyon. What's great about this is, hey, at the end of the day, after a little bit of our Grand Canyon tour, you're just gonna go back to the lodge, relax, have some wine and take in all the amazing sights of the Grand Canyon. It's absolutely incredible. And then that night is the rest, uh, is the rest of that night is yours at leisure. A truly great experience. Day three, this is where we go out east a little bit. Now, what we're going to start with, we're going to start with something called a relaxed start. So really what that is briefly is a relaxed start. It's instead of getting on the coach at 8 a.m. and we're go, 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 going until our next experience that we have, you get to take in the morning by yourself. You can relax a bit. We're not going to be going on the coach until about 10, 1030 that morning. And this is really great because when you wake up, you're at the National Park Lodge. You can have your coffee, you can have your tea, and just walk outside and see all the beauty. You can watch the sunrise. Absolutely amazing experience. So we're not going to rush you at all. That is, that, that is your morning at leisure. Take it in as you will. No issues there. So later that day, we're going to eventually head to Lake Powell, but where we're going to stop, we're actually going to stop at a place called Glen Canyon Dam to learn about uh, the impact that it has on the Colorado River. Now, when I first uh, ever, when I first ever saw this itinerary, I'm like, why don't we stop at a dam? What's, what's the significance about that? But 
This is the picture on the left. That's the Glen Canyon Dam. It's a really, really incredible feature. The Glen Canyon Dam, this actually rises about 710 feet above bedrock within the steep rust-colored sandstone walls of the Glen Canyon. It was constructed to harness the power of the Colorado River in order to provide the water and power to needs of millions of people out west. So it's an absolutely incredible place to visit. It's very, very large, so it's neat to see, but it's really neat to know that it actually has uh, some significant value as well. So we're going to go there. We're going to have our tour there with our travel director. We're going to tell you about the history of that. And then we're going to head over to Lake Powell. And that's where you'll just be able to enjoy the Lake Powell Resort, which is the place that we're staying at. And you can just relax, enjoy all the amenities that the resort has to offer. That picture on the left there at the bottom of your screen, that is one of the views of Lake Powell Resorts. Absolutely incredible. Again, with inside vacations, you are going to stay at nice hotels, nice hotels, nice resorts, nice lodges. That's what you get. Boy, does that look good right now. I would love to sit out there. Some nice warm weather, have a have a drink in hand. Oh, that sounds really good. So that's what we're going to do that night. And then day four, this is your day at leisure. This is your day to take in all the beautiful sites to so do whatever you want to do. Lake Powell at leisure is on day four. Now we are going to have some optional experiences this day. Uh, some of the ones you can do is you can either do an optional float down the Colorado River or you can cruise through Antelope Canyon. Uh, I highly recommend doing these if you can. Again, you can just take in all the, all the beautiful views of the resort, walk around, that's completely fine. But these optional experiences are really, really great. I've had a colleague who did the Antelope Canyon cruise and he was absolutely fascinated. It's a cruise right through the canyon. Uh, you almost feel like you're kind of getting got, kind of getting shrunk in a little bit because the walls are so high, the sandstone cliffs, but you get to go through the river and it's truly incredible. All the wonderful rock formations. Uh, it almost looks like some of the rocks up top are about to fall on you, but it's just, it's just a really, really great experience. And that's when we definitely recommend on this. But again, this is your day at leisure. Do what you want. You do have these optional experiences if you would like to partake in those. Day five, now we're going to head over to Monument Valley. So this is a really, really special day. And what we're going to do here is we're going to head to Monument Valley and we're going to go on an ATV tour on the valley floor. And here we're going to go with our local expert who is a Navajo and learn all about the Navajo history from our guide and more about the life on this beautiful land. Now, this is a really great experience because we're not just going there. We're going to actually get you on the valley floor on these four-wheel drive vehicles and you get to take in all the sites up close and personal. It's a very, very special experience. But uh, it's, it's actually said that this is one of the most photographed places on Earth. And the valley is host to towering sandstone rock formations that are sculpted over time and soar over a thousand feet above the valley floor. It's just incredible. It's absolutely beautiful. A lot of the times you look at these, if you ever look at pictures, uh, Google a picture that's out west or you Google Monument Valley, you see these massive massive rock formations that's what we're going to see we're going to get you right up close and personal to those formations it's a really really neat experience yeah i would say this, this was the day this was the day of the days that i thought was really the highlight of the um, tour yeah absolutely it's it's a great day and and the great thing is we are going to work with a local novel going to tell you he's going to teach you all about the history of the culture it's it's a really really neat experience again with Inside Vacations, we connect you with locals, and this is one of those experiences where we do that. Uh, another, uh, another kind of a fun site that we get to see is John Wayne's Cabin at Golding Lodge that's on the valley floor. This is an interesting experience. A lot of movies were filmed here, and this is just a small little museum on the valley floor, and they actually have a screen up top on the second floor of this museum that's always playing a John Wayne Western, believe it or not. So you get to see that, but it's just a kind of a nice, iconic spot uh, in Golding's Lodge. So you get to see that as well. And then we're going to have a Navajo cookout highlight lunch. We're going to have fresh barbecue right on the valley floor, seeing all these beautiful sites. Just a great day, an amazing experience. So that'll be our day five. Um, I agree with that. I think this is probably one of the more, more incredible. It's hard to kind of say one day is better than the other, but this is a really, really great day halfway through the trip. Moving on, day six. Now we're going to head up north just a little bit and we're going to see Messi Verde and Mohab. Now, Messe Verde, we're going to do this with our local expert. And this is a really great national park because uh, it actually has more than 5,000 sites, including 600 cliff dwellings. And it's the largest archaeological preserve in the United States. Now, Messe Verde, that's Spanish for green table. But what it's best known for is its structures such as Cliff Palace, 
which you can see at the bottom left of your screen. It's incredible. It's absolutely amazing. The Cliff Palace is said to be the largest cliff dwelling in North America. So uh, this is what you're going to see this day. And this cliff dwelling, there's not a whole lot known about this, but what they do know that is that it was built by the Pueblo Indians about 800 years ago. And you can see uh, it's still standing today, which speaks volumes to the engineering, the building that they did back then. It's absolutely amazing. We're going to get you right up close and personal. You can walk around it. This is literally under a cliff. It's like its own little village. It's, it's incredible. So you're going to see that this day. Uh, and it's just a really, really neat experience. I think Mesa Verde is one of those more underrated national parks that you don't necessarily hear about. But when you see some of these cliff dwellings, absolutely incredible. So that's what we're going to see that day. And then we're going to have a little bit of a longer journey to Moab because we're going to stay in Moab that night. Now, Again, you've kind of seen on this tour that there are some journeys that are a little bit longer than others, maybe four or five hours, but that's okay. Because again, we are gonna take multiple stops the whole time. And again, one of the nice things about inside vacations is we do travel by our luxury motor coach. This is business class seating, very, very comfortable. We're not gonna cram you in a small little bus around the national parks. We're gonna make sure you're comfortable the whole time. To put it in perspective a little bit, uh, you, you can't see this because we're not in person, but I'm six foot six. So I don't fit in my own car. I don't fit on airplanes, uh, but I fit extremely well in that luxury coach. That's a picture of me there in the middle. Very, very, very comfortable. You don't have to worry about it. I think we have these large windows. So when you're traveling through the West, you can see all the amazing sights all around you. It's, it's really, really great. Now, I will say a, a lot of times I get the question, well, Dan, you're six, six. That's great. What if I'm four foot six? What if I'm not super tall? That's okay. You still fit very comfortably as well. We have, we have plenty of room on the seats. You're going to be, you're going to be just fine. And Yes, we do have Wi-Fi. Yes, we do have air conditioning. Yes, there is a restroom on board. I will say, although it's not a luxury coach, uh, or although, although it is a luxury coach, it's not a luxury bathroom, but we do still have a restroom on board in case you need it. So don't worry about that. But we will stop multiple times, we usually stop once every hour. Or so if not a little bit under that, just to make sure that everyone can have a little bit of chance to walk around and things like that, which is really important when we're doing these four hour drives uh, throughout the West. So that's a little bit about day six now we're going to move on to day seven again we're talking about the highlights we're kind of moving quick here but day seven is a really great day as well we're going to go to arches national park in moab and when you think moab you think about the arches so we're going to see all the all the amazing arches that moab has to offer uh the biggest concentration of national arches in the world but Ar arches national park in moab offers a large density of natural sandstone arches all over the place. And a lot of visitors come to Moab that do biking, camping, rock climbing, hiking, things like that. We're not going to do any of that. We're not going to do any rock climbing or camping or any of that, but uh, we're all going to go right to Arch Point and see all these amazing arches that day. Uh, absolutely incredible. It's, it's just a beautiful, beautiful place. It's, it's so neat to see all these different structures that were formed over thousands of years ago that are still standing today. It's just, just absolutely incredible. Day eight, we're going to head to Capitol Reef and Bryce Canyon National Park. Now, Capitol Reef is best known for its water pocket fold, uh, which is a 100-mile-long warp in Earth's crust. And with sandstone cliffs, white domes, arches, and, and slide canyons, Capitol Reef National Park is a, a rugged and a really extraordinary place to explore. And the park preserves the water pocket fold, which is a rippling of the Earth's crust that is about 100 miles long. So it's a really, really neat national park. Again, every one of these national parks is very different from each other. I think Capitol Reef, again, just like Messe Verde, is kind of one of those underrated ones that you don't really hear about a lot, but it's absolutely incredibly beautiful. So we're going to see that that day. And then we're going to head over to Bryce Canyon National Park that afternoon. And we're not going to do a lot at Bryce Canyon because we're going to spend most of the day at Capitol Reef. But the one thing that we will do is head towards Sunset Point, which is on the Navajo Trail at, at, uh, at Bryce Canyon. And Sunset Point is this beautiful, beautiful overlook where you can see all the amazing rock formations, the hoodoos and the hoodoos, just so you know, are these kind of tall, thin spire of rocks that stick up from the ground. They're pretty neat to see. So you're going to be able to see that as well. But again, we'll do Capitol Reef in the morning, Bryce Canyon National Park that afternoon. Day nine, this is going to be more of an in-depth tour with your local expert at Bryce Canyon National Park. You're going to see the great national amphitheater. You're going to learn a little bit more about how the wind, the erosion, the iron oxidation created all these hoodoos that you saw the night before at Sunset Point. And that's, again, really your day at the park. You have plenty of time to explore, plenty of time to walk around. Your travel director will definitely point you in the right direction of different things 
you want to see. Now, later that night, we are going to have a great dining experience, which is our celebration dinner. Now, this is the last really big dinner that we have. This is kind of in, uh, I guess, if you're talking about cruises, this is like the, the captain's farewell dinner, but this is going to be our celebration dinner, which is an amazing experience. And uh, for me, it's just like the welcome dinner, but it's kind of one of those bittersweet dinners where uh, everyone's excited to, to get back home after an amazing travel experience, but we're all kind of sad too, because he made some great friendships. He saw some beautiful sights, uh, especially on this journey, but the celebration dinner, that'll be at the lodge at Bryce Canyon. We'll have some wonderful wine, some great cuisine, and that will be the last big dinner that we have on day nine at the end of our trip. Day 10. Now we're going to head back to Las Vegas. Now, most of our trips, day 10 is exclusively just for going to the airport, getting your transfer to the airport and flying back home. Not here. This is one of the great things about a domestic departure is that, hey, we have a great itinerary on day 10 and we can actually still do an activity before we have to fly home. So we are going to have transfers to the Las Vegas airport uh, later that evening. But before that, we are going to stop one more national park at Zion Canyon. Uh, which is a great, great national park. And we're actually going to hop on board our own private shuttle there and see all the amazing sights that Zion Canyon has to offer. Now, Zion Canyon, when, when my wife and I went to the Zion Canyon National Park, it was absolutely packed. Um, so we definitely saw the significance of having your own shuttle because you can just go around and see all the great places without going through all the crowds and things like that. And that's what you get. We're going to hop on board the shuttle. You'll see all the great sights on Zion Canyon before we go to Las Vegas that night uh, to depart for back home. So that is the tour, Wonders of the American West. I absolutely love this. I think this is a great tour. Uh, so many great national parks. There are a lot of places that we see. It is very go, 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 but it's, it's a really great pace because yes, we'll have activities. Yes, you're gonna have tours that you do every day, but you have that day four, that day at leisure. You have these relaxed starts. You have plenty of time and taking all the sites. You're going to see a lot, but like Ted said, you're not going to be rushed at all. It truly is a, a wonderful, wonderful tour. Well, I think it's, I think it's important to point out as well, you know, something you said, which is how crowded the national parks can be. And I think especially, you know, last year and this year, they are going to be really crowded. And so one of the real advantages to this, this trip is that, you know, we've gotten everything planned and taken care of in advance. So you can just show up and enjoy it instead of showing up and waiting in line and waiting in line and waiting in line and finding that you can't do what you wanted to do on the day you wanted to do it. So it really is a stress-free way to travel and it's, um, you know, packs a lot into a shorter time frame. Absolutely. Yeah, I think that's a great point. So the national parks, it wouldn't surprise me this year if they break attendance records, to be honest. I, th I think they will. Um, and they're going to be, there's going to be a lot of people that are going to the national parks now. The great reason to do it with Insider is because, hey, you're going to be staying right in the heart of the national parks with these some of the national park lodges. So you don't have to worry about your hotel and you're going to be in your own group and you're going to have all this VIP entry to all these different places. You don't have to get lost in the crowds. You don't have to worry about a single thing. That's up to us. So that's that's a great benefit to do it through Insight. But lastly, how do you experience the national parks differently with Insight? Well, we just talked about one reason, but again, all the unique experiences like on day five, when you go with your local Navajo expert on those four wheelers to go through the valley floor, that's an amazing experience. You're gonna stay at the nicest places. You're gonna have great dining experiences. And again, when you're going through the national parks, you don't have to worry about driving yourself. You get to sit back in your luxury coach with business class seating and just taking all the nat and all the great sites that they have to offer. It truly is a great way to travel to our national parks. And we're really looking forward to this trip. So. Um, I think Ted would agree. It, it truly will be a race for space. The, the demand for travel is absolutely incredible right now. So there's still plenty of time in the book, but if you are interested, we definitely recommend locking in your spot while you can. Uh, the price is on the right side of your screen. Again, this is a 10 day, 10 day trip, nine nights. Mostly everything is included. You get the hotels, you get most meals. Typically, I like to say about two meals are included on every day. You're going to be at your own for about one. But that's good because that way you can kind of explore on your own a little bit and try something at a local restaurant or something like that. So mostly everything else is included. All the transfers, the, the driving, the hotels, the experiences are all included. It's just absolutely amazing. You don't have to worry about a thing. Everything is right there. So with that being said, thank you all so much. And Ted, I guess I'll turn it back to you and then we can go through any questions that anyone yeah, has. Yeah, thanks, Dan. Um, yeah, so as, as Dan mentioned, it is a little bit of a race for space. Um, we do have some space 
being held. Um, and so after this event is over, I'll send you an email that has the full details of the day-by-day -day itinerary. And it also has a link to a landing page where you can sign up for the trip and um, read a little bit more. So you'll be getting that. The other thing that um, I think makes this kind of a nice, a nice kind of a simple trip is that, you know, it starts and ends in Las Vegas. And, you know, maybe besides Orlando, Las Vegas is probably the city in North America with the most nonstop flights from everywhere. So it's really easy, easy to get to and, you know, no stress that if your plane's an hour late, well, you know, the world's not going to end. You're not going to miss, miss three days in France because you're stuck in uh, Amsterdam or something like that. But yeah, I, I, this is, a, um, we took a look at a lot of different itineraries at Travel Leaders and we kept coming back to this one as I think really probably the best way to see the national parks, you know, in a relatively reasonable time frame, um, but pack a lot into it. And it was really important for us that we stay right in the parks and stay at those nice hotels that, you know, they, they book up what, 18 months, two years in advance to get those rooms because the folks like Insight and Dan have been there and snapped up those rooms. So um, we're gonna take advantage of the pre-planning that they did and um, offer that to our clients as an opportunity to travel together um, and to travel with me. I'm looking forward to going back to some of these places. I haven't been to the Grand Canyon since I was probably 16 years old and um, I've never been to Mesa Verde. I'm looking forward to that. And boy, I was probably 10 when we, we rented an RV and drove across to um, Bryce and Zion. So it's been a long time since I've been out to some of those places. So I guess we're gonna make a silver lining out of um, you know, as, as you mentioned earlier, Dan, being, being here domestically for most of the year. And I think this is a great way to do that. So I would love to have you join us. We would certainly, um, you know, I would look forward to traveling with you. We, we definitely love to have you. So I think with that, we will wrap up. I don't see any questions in the chat, but we will um, get that follow up out to you. And um, if you have questions, my contact information will be there and you can follow up with me directly as well. So Dan, thanks for taking the time on this beautiful evening to join us. And thanks everybody for uh, coming out and look forward to seeing you in Las Vegas in September. Thanks a lot. Sounds great. Thanks everybody. Have a great night.